What's up guys, this is Ice9Ghost or Diamond Kings TV on YouTube and Discord. I'm making this video as an updated video to the one on the Ice9Ghost channel. It's for the Minecraft PS4 created to survival glitch 1.16.40 as you see in the bottom right. I had showed this to It's Me James and he was a little confused and so were a few other people so I wanted to remake this video to give some clarification on things that I figured out. Now one thing that I figured out is if I'm trying to find the specific world well here this is the world that I had yes I have a lot of worlds so my world's called 3-bit survival that I tried this on last time right here I converted this world the 3-bit survival world and I tried to use the glitch on it and it didn't work out too well it when I switched the default game mode from creative to survive or survival to creative it kept the game mode in creative but when I used a pre-existing world on bedrock that I already created such as my sister's world, Kimri's world, and I tried it. Um, it has trophies enabled. You can still earn command blocks, whatever. This is another survival world that I tried it on that had the glitch working. It was a newly created world, which is what I'm going to be doing. And then there's my old world, which I converted, which doesn't make sense to me why this one worked, but the other ones didn't. I converted on this one, and, I, and it didn't work. So, in the meantime, I'm going to show you all of this world. I'm not going to show you the whole world, I'm just going to show you the part that works. I'm going to show you the new world that I'm going to create, and I'm going to show you an old world that has the glitch working on it as well. So, to begin this glitch, you can either use a new world or a pre-existing world on your thing. I'm going to start a new world because that's faster right now. So, we're going to do new. We're just going to name this 5-bit, because why not? There we go. Sorry, had to do something. I always like to go and turn on show coordinates, and then along with that I do multiplayer settings to be invite only. So as you see, the world's going to be named 5-bit, so we can see. I would suggest that you copy your world. I'm not going to, but it's a recommended step. I know what I'm going to do, so I don't need to copy it, but it would be recommended if you did. It would save you a couple of, couple of issues if you wanted to retry this on an old or pre-existing world. So the first thing that you should do is get yourself a chest. So I'm going to go get myself a chest, the store these things in. Okay, so I am on top of a tree. I'm not worried about good gameplay, I'm just worried about getting it done. So, mine about four logs. Oops. Let's get this last log. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create these logs into planks on my chest. Get a crafting table. Place that down. Get a chest. Now, here's where the glitch actually starts. <coughs> Hi, chicken. So, press start. Go to settings. Change your default game mode to creative. Yes, it'll tell you you're going to lose trophies, but you're not going to. Now go back. Press the um, thing for commands. Can't think of what it's called. Do give at s. And then space command block. You should have gave yourself 64 command blocks like I just did. That's if you typed in the number 64 at the end. So I always do this. I don't know if it's extremely important or not but I'm just still figuring it out. 
I'm gonna just go over here and I'm gonna get rid of some of these blocks. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is so that way the game recognizes that I'm making a change and it fully saves the change of me putting those command blocks in there. Okay, so now we're gonna move back over to our chest. see there's the command blocks perfectly fine we're gonna hold the PlayStation button close the game now once it's closed go back into the game sorry about all the background noise Okay, so here we are back at the game. Um, go ahead and press play whenever it shows up for you. Oh, there's, there it is. <clears throat> so my world's gray, which is fine. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And it even says it's in survival. Now, when you go in there, it should load up and already be on survival. What you do, this is, if you're loading into this, you'd be loading into your copied world because you'd be doing this glitch on your copied world just in case something goes wrong. So. What we're going to do is we're going to change the game modes to creative again. So. place it didn't save me going over here so here we are command blocks and still in survival so change your default game mode to creative hit continue on the trophy screen the game just being slow there we go whoops wrong one and then personal to creative as well. Now grab the command blocks. And now place them. One, two. Go into the first. Do forward slash game mode at one at A. Same thing for the other one except zero at A. Now grab yourself some buttons. Crouch, place, place. And then, like I like to do, go get rid of some more blocks. I'm gonna get rid of these over here. I'm only doing this to give the world a chance to recognize the difference. Okay, so we're gonna walk back over to our area. Now we're gonna close the world. Re-enter your world.
Okay, so here we are. Back in the game again, finally. Yep, I already know about that. <coughs> and now we're going to re-enter our world. And you should be put into survival. So, we're going to see that here in a second. Okay, so here we are in survival. Here is the stuff over here. Um, as you can see, I'm just gonna look at this. It says that we can still earn trophies, so it works. It completely works, and. Here is, I think this one's creative. Yep. And this one, well, let's just show you this. Again, this one says it's still on, you could still earn trophies. And then, same thing back to survival. So, the only other thing I can think of to prove that this is working is to earn a kind of quick trophy. So let's look at this real quick. If my game will catch up with me. <coughs> okay. So last time I earned. Um, last time I earned. The Defeat of Ravager. Now we're going to go back up to the other ones and look at the newer ones. Okay, so we're going to do... figure out. We're gonna do breed a mule from a horse and a donkey. So we're gonna switch to creative. Guess we're gonna build a little fence area. And then get a horse egg and a donkey egg. Horse. Spawn horse. Donkey. Just gonna build the area right here. I realized I was trapping myself in. Okay. So, horse, not paying attention, horse, and a donkey. I don't know exactly how to breed these two together, but I think if you keep them close enough, they'll start doing stuff. But, um, as you see, pretty sure that they work fine together. 
the glitch is working. You guys can see that everything's fine. Um, I put I've put stuff in the world, and you can see it's in the world. And I can go back to survival, and I can still earn trophies, as you can see. Um, and I guess the only thing is I can just leave the world and come back, show you that everything's fine. So I'm gonna save it and come back real quick. We're gonna go back into the world. And look at this. Sorry about all this. Um, I thought I had a few more trophies that I could earn. I've earned pretty much all of them. I just hadn't looked into the Brita horse and a donkey trophy. But, as you can see, here they are. I went into creative. I spawned these guys in. I still have the eggs. I can spawn another donkey and another horse. Whatever. I didn't think about that. But, yeah, another horse. See? And now I can ride the horse and go around and do whatever I want. Okay, we're just gonna do that so I can get out. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Y'all be crazy. Huh. See, I'm having so much trouble here. Okay. <laughs> but there you go. So... These guys are in survival now, and they were in creative. They were here from the thing. And you can see from creative mode, I can place another command block. And if I go to survival, I can't. So if you want to use your command blocks, you actually have to be in the creative mode. And you can place however many you want. So I told y'all I was going to show you the other world real quick. The pre-existing world. My sister's, actually. Here's this world. When it loads up. Okay. okay, here we are. This is the pre existing world. Um, so, this one has creative and survival glitch as well. Uh, I don't know how to show you definitely that this world was created beforehand, but I didn't create this world recently. I just did the glitch on this world. This world was created a few months ago. Like, three months ago. It, I don't think it shows you a world, a starting date for the world. But it does show you the last time you entered the world, which was today. But anyways, um... It works perfectly fine in all aspects of whatever you're trying to do. Uh, it doesn't seem to work too well with worlds on additions, but it does work perfectly fine with newly created and pre-existing bedrock worlds. So that's really all I could show you guys. I didn't really have much else. I wish I could have shown you guys a trophy. Um, yeah. Thanks for popping in.